What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we have a video that I haven't made in a while. People always enjoy these. These are my favorite new apps that I'm using on my Samsung Galaxy phone. I have five of them for you guys today. Well, kind of four of them plus one bonus one. That's kind of an advanced app. I'm gonna make a full video on it, but I at least wanna tell you guys what it does. So if you wanna try it out yourself before I make the full video, you can do that. So we're gonna get into that today. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my son Jonathan. We got a Triceratops and a baby Brachiosaurus hanging out over here. We always appreciate him getting us some dinos or animals for the videos. And I also wanna remind you guys, if you're gonna be ordering your Galaxy S24 Ultra from Samsung in January, you're in here in the United States, you can get it on our free mystery box program where you get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, some other goodies. You can sign up on my brand new website, sammyguru.com. We'll be rebranding the channel and the website and everything. Uh, really excited about the new site. So if you go here, go to the navigation menu over here, you'll see you have pre-order and mystery box. I'll link this below directly. And you'll see the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It'll take you down here to the form where you put your email, first name, last name to sign up. Now, once you sign up, there's no cost to you. I cover the shipping. All you have to do is use my Samsung affiliate link when it comes time to order in January or February, whenever the S24s launch. This year, we'll also be giving away some really cool bonuses, including Samsung 75-inch QLED TVs will be random off for every 500 people who participate in the Mystery Box program and use my affiliate link to purchase their device. Really excited. We've been doing this for the community for about two years. They've been really popular and we're really excited. So check it out in the link in the description and the pinned comment. Also check out the new website. It looks really good. New things will be coming up. We got a lot coming on the channel, so stay tuned. So let's talk about my five favorite new Samsung apps I've been using. Um, the first one is one that I've actually made a full video on the channel before, but it's an app that I absolutely love and you guys have to know about it because he's expanded the wallpaper offering so much since I last talked about it. And that is one for wall. You can see it right here. This is my favorite go-to wallpaper app. Pretty much every wallpaper you see me use in my videos, I'd say 99% of them come from this app. I'm very good friends with the developer, Vuk, who is one of the best developers of icon packs and wallpapers on the Play Store. Also on iOS, you develop some for your desktop and everything if you need those too. But this app is just so well done. It's been rewritten for native Android and it has a lot of amazing Halloween wallpapers which you can actually see up here at the top right there. You guys saw them. And I'll go and show you where you can find those. But there's multiple tabs. There's the all tab here. You've got them organized by category. You can see all this right here. And then if you go over here, there's the plus tab where he gives you daily wallpapers that are new. It's a little subscription. And then there's the pro tab where you can buy different packs. And one of the really popular packs right now is the Halloween pack. You can see all of these new Halloween wallpapers that he's added. I've been using a lot of them on the channel the last couple months. There's just an endless supply of some really cool ones from, you know, inspired by your favorite movies, zombies, ghosts, um, you know, clowns, really cool stuff. And then up here, you can also see if you go discover the pro, it kind of tells you a little bit about it. It's organized into collections and um, warriors. They got animals, art, minimal if you're into that, scenery, waves, pretty much any kind of wallpaper you could want. Over here, You've got 8K wallpapers that you can use for your desktop. He's got an amazing collection of those as well. And then you can see here what's new at the very top in each one. The app has really been streamlined a lot to kind of show you exactly where the new stuff is. And you can see here that if you have, you know, if you have the newly added, you can go in there and kind of see which wallpapers they are and check them out on a daily basis. Over here, you can also store your favorites, which I've done for some of the wallpapers I have. And uh, also search up here at the very top. In the settings, you can also change the theme, light, dark, mullet, you can change it to whatever you want. I've actually been meaning to go in here and change it to the AMOLED theme. He just added that, I think, pretty recently. Uh, you can also toggle off animations to speed it up a little bit if you want, but I kind of like the animations. They're beautifully done, and this is one of the best wallpaper apps on Android and on iOS as well. If you guys want to check this one out, I'll drop the link in the description in the pinned comment. He also sells his wallpaper packs and in individual packs um, through Gumroad, some other websites. I'll drop the link if you want to buy those, but the app is kind of the all-in-one experience and I definitely recommend checking it out. Now, next, I want to talk about an app that I've definitely also mentioned on the channel a few times. People keep asking questions about, and that's Beeper. Let me actually make sure I don't have any crazy messages here. I don't want to put anyone on blast just yet, but uh, here, that's fine. Nothing too crazy in there. Um, you can see Beeper is an all-in-one messenger app. I made a full video, so I'll drop it in the description. One of the key features is it brings iMessage to your Android phone, and that's pretty awesome. Um, having iMessage ability on your Android phone, and also all my other stuff like Facebook Messenger, I've got my Twitter in here, 
you know, I've got all of my different clients. I got Facebook Messenger, Twitter. I've got, you know, iMessage, as I mentioned. I've got my SMS from this phone. So it also another really good benefit of Beeper that I didn't mention in the previous video, if you have multiple phones, you can then get your messages from your primary phone number that you share with family and friends sent to all of your other devices without even using something like Google Voice. Um, it's truly the best messaging app I've used. You guys to see, I don't change what's on my main screen here on my S23 Ultra very often, but I actually have moved it right next to Slack and in between my Google apps and my email apps, which is really a big accomplishment. I don't really change what's on this screen, this homepage too often, but Beeper has made it there. It's my all-in-one messaging solution and I absolutely love it. You do need an invite to participate with Beeper, but I have posted my invite code over on Twitter. Uh, you do need to realize though that there's a limit of five people that can take advantage of it per day, per 24 hours. So if you try one day and it's not working, you can always try the next day and see if you can get in. So I'll link that below if you guys wanna try out Beeper and you wanna get in with my invite code. The next application is one that is within Samsung's Good Lock. I also talked about this one on the channel a couple of other times, but these Roundup videos always tend to do a little better. So I'm mentioning them again because they are so cool. That is Edge Lighting Plus, which is an official Samsung app in Good Lock. This lets you add the ability to have custom like notification icons dance across your screen uh, when you get in certain notifications like raindrops, flowers, the danger sign, popcorn, one of my favorite stars, hearts. You can also edit the color of these. You can also change how frequently they appear, the size of them. You can customize everything as you would expect with a Samsung device. You can pretty much customize all the things in this app. Now you can also make it so that instead of having a custom style, you can show the app icon instead of like a popcorn or a heart or a star. That's actually what I've been using. You guys see I have it enabled on my S23 Ultra. I find it very nice because when I have the screen off, I can look over and see, you know, the spark icon raining down. I know I have a new email and then I know it's time to check my email the next time I get a chance to look at the phone. Highly recommend this if you use GoodLock. And if you don't use GoodLock, you really should start. GoodLock is the best suite of customization apps you can get for your Samsung device. If you're using a Samsung Galaxy phone, you need GoodLock. You should definitely try Edge Lighting Plus as soon as possible. The fourth app is called Touch the Notch. And again, I'll link all these below in the description. Touch the Notch, it's actually right here. What Touch the Notch does is it actually allows you to single touch or long touch or double touch your camera hole at the top of your Galaxy S23 Ultra. Not really a notch anymore, it's a camera punch out. But you can toggle on things like the flashlight, um, you can toggle on silent and uh, sound mode. Really cool added feature, because of course there's lots of things on Samsung that can already do this. Like you have Registar, you can tap on the back of the phone to trigger stuff. You can do uh, button presses, you have one hand operation plus, but it gives you one more place where you can have an easy mapping of additional functions. And I'm never against that. So if you actually check it, I've got single touch, toggle the camera flashlight, or sorry, flashlight. So if you touch this, now my flashlight's on, touch it again. Oops, you do have to be a little precise, touch it. And then I've got the double tap, is gonna turn it from ring to silent. So you can see right now it's on silent. You do get haptic feedback, it just cycled through it twice. Now you can see it turned it on from silent to ring. So you do get haptic feedback so you can feel when you're doing it. It's always tougher to do these things behind the camera, but it works great in practice. I absolutely love it. Um, I think the premium version of Touch the Notch was only 49 cents. So that's crazy value for an app like this. You can also do left and right swipes um, to get in there. This developer also has some other really cool apps, which I might cover in a future video. You can actually see them down here. Um, Notch Island, which basically gets you a dynamic island on your Samsung phone, if that's something you would like. But I think Touch the Notch is actually the cooler of them, and it's the one that I've been using to enable some additional functionality. Finally, this is one that I'm gonna cover on a full video because it's really quite involved, and there's a little bit more to this app. It's called Smart Spacer. Uh, this app is actually not available on the Play Store. It's available on GitHub. It was originally in beta, and I was, I was actually informed about this app by Michelle Rahman, who you guys all know. If you follow Android, covers a lot of stuff about you know, Android and the new releases of stock Android on the Google side. But um, this app basically lets you edit the functionality of the at a glance widget on your Pixel phone. And you can also do it on other phones like Samsung. So you can have additional uh, complications, different plugins, like for instance, Aftership, which is my shipping app, has a plugin. Amazon has a plugin. There's a data usage plugin. 
There's tons of plugins that you can then add and integrate with that functionality that you would normally expect to get with that widget. It has a ton of features. There is a little bit of complication involved because you do need to give some additional permissions, which either require root, you can go through and go to enhance mode, and you can see right here, Shizuku, um, that will allow you to do it. I'm gonna go through that in the actual video and show you guys how to enable it if you're interested. Um, turn on enhance mode, play with it. I've been comparing the two different versions to see the functionality, but that'll be a more in-depth video, which will be coming very, very soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll drop the links to all of them below, including the one to Smart Spacer on GitHub if you wanna start trying it out. And then when I make the full video, maybe you want to go more in depth with it. Subscribe to the channel. Again, if you're going to be uh, getting a Galaxy S24 Ultra, check out the mystery boxes. Sign up if you're in the US. No cost to you. All you got to do is use my Samsung link to order and uh, you get a free case cleaning kit, all that other good stuff. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.